So this is a view on a whole new area of rays. Five in a row here. A whole bunch of different options here. Balancing, things like that, riding the ladder sections. And this is the beginning of the XC loop. Every summer, the people of Ray's Indoor Mountain Bike Park are hard at work changing things up for the upcoming season. And this year, there were a ton of changes. So let's get inside and take a look at some of those changes. So this is Gypsy Beans. And if you've been to Ray's in the past few years on a weekend, you'll have seen a table set up with some things you can buy, coffee and different snack type deals. Well, they've expanded and now there's a whole entire like pop-up restaurant type deal at Ray's, which is so sick. I guess to really start things off after you get past Gypsy Beans, this is the old foam pit resi area where you'll be potentially putting your stuff and just hanging out between riding and uh the green line starts right over there so let's take a look at some of the green line changes and this is the beginning of the xc loop You've got gauge in the front here this part is unchanged the rocks and then the up here berm and then this is where we get into the old foam pit resi area drop in here there's a box jump there in and out there into the berm here also one thing gage made sure to point out to me just now was that they kept it so these ledges are still rideable so you can come around the berm here and hit either of these ledges as you go into that you got up here into this berm you got around this roller berm there's easter eggs <laughs> if you look closely the quarter pipe is still behind this from the old setup. Even the wall back there is the same wall. So we're a whole two turns deep and there's a lot of new stuff oh, yeah. right now in the green line. And also, I didn't see it right away, but if you don't want to take the new stuff, you can also just go straight here and hit the same stuff that was here into the same path. And then I think Gage was saying how most everything from after this part hasn't changed much yeah. up until a certain area. Yeah, until we get to the back spot of the uh, cross country. So all of that that you're used to with the green line after this incline until the beginner area is still pretty much the same. This much of the green line has not changed, but for anyone who hasn't been here before, what is this area called again? Wildcat. Lots of berms in here. Lots of twists and turns. Okay, so this is a view on a whole new area of Ray's. Spox, resi, big vert wall, foam pit over there, hitching post. This used to be the beginner area, so right here, there were three box jumps. There was a rock pile over there, lots of random obstacles in the middle. And you'd come around through here and hit those box jumps. Now, this is where Foam Pit and Resi ended up and it's got much higher ceilings now. And the Foam Pit works perfectly for Foam Pit things. Plenty of ceiling space, plenty of depth. Foam Pit Resi Room, new at Ray's, is awesome. So after the Foam Pit Resi area, I figured I'd talk about this because spatially it's right beside it. This area here, you would probably remember as the starting area for what was here before. Well, it's still somewhat here where you've got the path on the left, logs are there, 
the elevator thingy that goes up and leads you back into that. There is actually something new on this side that Gage pointed out to me. So you hit this berm, which has been here, and then there's the little tabletop back here, but behind it, there's now a slant wall. Yo. We come to an intersection with three different paths you can take, and this is where we jumped into the resi area. You can see Paul's Boutique is that way. If you take this way, it's a couple rollers in there and go an incline and down and up, and it also takes you this path. But if you take this one right here, it takes you around a berm, and then kind of is sort of an exit for the green line so that you don't have to do the entire thing or cut out somewhere different. Continuing on the green line here, there's the S berm curve wall ride setup that's been here and super fun. You go that way and you continue and you take the, uh, the platform that goes over the bike storage and everything. Everything is the same that way from what you're used to here at Rays, but the Novus area has seen some huge changes. So we're gonna go that way now. Just to show everybody what Paul's Boutique looks like if you haven't been here before, it is a really awesome small room back here at Ray's. I just want to shout out Gage real quick for helping me with this video. Follow him on Instagram, he's crazy. So as we exit here, there's some new stuff. Rocks, tree, nice little slant berm here, super mellow. Vroom. Roller, and then another berm that takes us out. Then a nice little Pyramid hip here, pedestrian traffic only. So there's some picnic tables, bike storage here. But if we come around and then cut into here, we have the all new Novus area, which is so, whoa, this is huge. All the little box jumps, the little balance area and skills stuff. This is so cool. So if earlier you were bummed out when I said the beginner area was gone, you lost three tabletops and gained two. Because there's five in a row here, five rollers now. A whole bunch of different options here for balancing and things like that, riding the ladder sections. <sighs> balancing through, there's even options within the options. And then we get to the end here. And then there's that. Here's Gage coming through on the balance area, showing that. Pretty cool. That is the balance section of the Novus room. Now let's go check out the tabletop side. Here's a look at all these box jumps. Oh, jeez. As we come through and end the box jump side, there is a little berm area and then you cut over and we go in towards the actual beginner area. So that's Novus. This is beginner, just flat ground with some paths on the ground and a area for people to just get used to riding their bikes. So nothing here has really changed at all. The pump track. All right, so here we going through some rollers. This is for people who've never been to Ray's before. Pump track here. This is a really cool pump track. And then as we leave here, we're back to where we just started. As we ride down this, we come to the end of what is new at Ray's, but I figured if there's anybody new watching this, I wanna show you what else is here and not just the new stuff here at Ray's. So I'm just gonna run through quickly and show you guys each room. This is the Former GoPro line, former GT line. There's Gage Hang Fiving. There's some jumps leading up to it. This jump, big berm, another jump, and then some jumps leading out. And then the sitting area up there, I'll show the profile. Through here, make a right. Gage is still Hang Fiving. <laughs> There's a seating area up there, but this, this is profile world. But to really appreciate it, we gotta go up top and show you a view from up there. So let's go up there. That is Profile World. So many different options and jump lines. Transfers in there. Lots to do in Profile World now. Let's show you guys 
the skills area I raise, which is come through the lobby, entrance that way, through here. We can see super sports section, firm here, some box jumps, and then every single possible option for a skills ladder, whatever you call it area, that you could possibly want to do. Gage is riding in there. There's also a micro rhythm over there. So there's literally everything from beginner of beginner to novice to intermediate everything you could want here at Raze. So here's the outside route options on this and the micro rhythm at the same time. So we can see as we ride through here, a good look at the micro rhythm, small box jumps in a self-contained area. Here's another look from the backside of all of this. Here's some more. So as we look here, you can see wrong way. These are all exits that end up here, but this side you can go this way on any of these paths. There are so many options for things to ride. Absolutely insane. And if we look closely, we can see Gage coming through here on that side, hitting the wall ride and coming through this section. That brings you to the beginning. Oh, geez, hang fives everywhere. Oh my God, he's going around. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. And as we teleport to a whole different area of rays, I will show you an area that we haven't seen yet. So this is the green section. As you can see, there was an outside line there. The inside is where I almost crashed really, really hard. You can go out of that and then cut into here to get into the kink bowl, which is a mainly BMX focused area of the park that is just amazing. But that is not all. There's actually something else in here. So that's more, you know, skate park oriented setup, but there's actually a grind street room area as well, right? So this is the original area of the grind room and then the new area as of last year. So this is a super technical street grind area at Ray's and it is so much fun to ride. Between this and the other side, this is where you'll find me here at Ray's. And I believe that's actually the last thing that we have to show. So we showed all of Ray's indoor mountain bike park, starting with everything new. I hope that you guys will come out and check this place out. It is amazing. I think it's something like over 180,000 square feet of building to ride in and it's only been growing and it's probably bigger than that since they've added all this new stuff this year. So it's over a mile on the green line. And I think they added one tenth of a mile with all the new stuff that we showed earlier in the video. So if you guys do come out to raise and you see me here, come say hi. I love seeing people from these videos and uh, enjoy. It's an amazing place, a destination, and basically Disneyland for bikes. Hopefully we'll see you here. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, for another video. Follow Gage. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.